Thunder, 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 thunder geeks are pre-recorded. Hey folks, uh, welcome again to another very special episode brought to you by our wonderful station, 102.7 FM, C-I-L-U, or around the world at L-U radio.ca. I'm Andrew. I'm Rob. I'm Megan. I'm Kyle. And I'm Chris. And, and we're your thunder geeks. Welcome again to another very special episode. Of course, if this is your first time tuning in, hi, we're your Thunder Geeks. Each week, we like to get together, talk about the nerdy stuff we've been up to this week, what's going on in our community, and just try to make you laugh for an hour and a half. So we have a very, very, in particularly special uh, episode. So we have two things we are celebrating. Because we missed some episodes with uh, the Rona, Everything's kind of lining up with the stars here. We are both celebrating our six-year anniversary with this episode, as well as episode 300. Woo! But Six it's not years. Sparta. This is wild. Yeah, no, it's really cool that we've actually been able to sit down and, and do this 300 times every... Oh, Almost every week. We've had a couple weeks off from here and there, but uh, for the most part, for the past six years, we've just been meeting on Sunday and having a really fun time. So, Rob, you put together a game for us this episode. Because... Yeah, because you've constantly for years say, been saying, we need to do a clip show. And because we, <laughs> because we can't physically interact with each other, that was my only choice. Well, it's still close. It's still close. You, you made a game for us. Because, yeah, for, for me, it was the... Simpsons 300 uh, clip show episode where it's one of the best clip shows of all time, especially when they use clips that never actually happened. But <laughs> you've de uh, dove back into Thunder Geek's lore and explain the game that we're going to be playing here, Rob. So the game we're going to play is just, uh, I'm just calling it the clip show game. Uh, there's two ways you can get points. Either tell me what's going on in the audio clip we use or guess the episode number. I mean, your odds of getting, getting the episode number are 1 in 300, so not the okay. worst. <laughs> okay, so uh, who, how are we going to decide who goes first then? Because uh, Megan was also suggesting that instead of all of us trying to yell it out, that we have someone up to bat, and if they can't guess it, everyone else gets to steal. Well, I was thinking because, well, at least from where I'm sitting, Chris is first. We go Chris, Kyle, you, Megan. Okay, so you're the host, so you're going to call it out on uh, who's up first here. So, Chris, you're up first. You're going to listen to the clip, and you got to tell us what we're talking about, and try and guess the episode number. You ready? No, let's do it. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Hey, here, folks. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Thunder Geeks, our special Earth Day episode, where Megan gets a butt whooping from Scarlett Johansson. What are we talking about? The Avengers and Earth Day? Nope. Anyone else want to try and guess? Oh, so it's not the Avengers. So I'm trying to think what Scarlett Johansson could have been involved in. I have no me, idea me, where me. this is from. Megan? Like, <clears throat> I know what we're talking about. We're talking about Ghost in the Shell. Nope. Oh! oh that, that was what? a good poll. That, that would have been my guess. Now, I'm also... I'm. Anyone like wanna... a, there's a 50-50% chance we were talking about something completely different before before the show even happened, somehow Scarlett Johansson becomes an in-joke that we can no longer remember for the life of us. Oh no, there was a before the conversation that leads into it. Okay, I, I want to guess, okay. I want to guess a number. Okay. Since we're dealing with 300 episodes, if I guess a number, can we do it within five? Yes. I'm going to say 120. You are not correct, not, not even within five. I'm going to say... Oof. Oh, it's got Scarlett Johansson in it, right? Yep. She's say, had like, consistent work, though, so that could come up in a lot of different places. I'm going to say, like, 200. Nope. 68. Okay, I have a request. Nope. Oh. I have a it's request. It's within five, Megan. Okay. What, could you could you read the the audio clip to me? Because half of it I am not processing. Would you, so would you like me to play it again? again? Play it again. No, because half of it play half of it I can't hear it. 
for myself. Like I hear something about bumblebees or bubble gum. Not, not even close. <laughs> See, so I am having a hard time processing what is even being said. Um, Do you have it written down? Play it again, so then we can. No, he doesn't. So play it again, and then we'll repeat it to you. Here, folks, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Thunder Geeks, our special Earth Day episode where Megan gets a butt whooping from Scarlett Johansson. So what I say is welcome back to Thunder Geek. So this sounds like it's rather the beginning of the show. We're coming back from an act break. And then uh, I say welcome back to our special Earth Day episode where Megan gets a butt whooping from Scarlett Johansson. A butt whooping. Oh, no. That could just be me wanting to have her kick my butt. That's we all do. My only <laughs> other guest, I don't remember if we even ever talked about Jojo Rabbit on the show. Nope, that's, nope. I, I have no idea, Rob, because most likely Rob has picked something so obscure and different, which also speaks to how, how far our conversations travel. Uh, what we're talking about is who would we cast in our live-action Captain Planet movie, and Megan would cast the Russian girl as Scarlett Johansson, and she would want Scarlett Johansson to beat her up with a Russian accent. <laughs> I hate you. And the episode you know what? is no. That makes that that makes an entire amount of sense, actually. And out of context, was not getting it. If we were casting a Captain Planet movie, as long as it doesn't have to be five teenagers with attitude, because I don't think they ever specified how old the Planeteers were. And the episode number is one hundred and eighty-three. Oh, so close. All right, Kylie, ready with clip two? Okay. What we didn't take into account is that I wasn't here for most of these episodes. <laughs> oh, no, you were you were the editor at that point. I want, okay, hold on. I'm going to see if this just goes. And the thing is, Chris, we participated in these conversations. We had these physical conversations, and we can't remember it, so I think it's a fair game. Oh, good. All right, clip okay. two is for Kyle to guess first. Hold on, I gotta do this again. Here we go. Okay, it doesn't want to play. <laughs> All right, then we'll just skip clip two for some reason. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I do. It do. Does it? So I'm curious of the interdimensional dynamics like here. They both have to reach climax at the exact same. But moment. who is in the other dimension? Uh, their friend Penny. Their friend Penny. Who is a traveler. He can jump between dimensions and realities at will. Oh, that's the magicians. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's ridiculous. But in the best way imaginable. I think the funnier part was, is like, the, the guy who's explaining the sex magic was like, so is this going to be a problem for you guys? And the guy's like, no, it's fine. The girl's like, actually. So Kyle, since you're up. Well, that's, the, that's the magicians. Could you give a little more deets? What are we talking about specifically with magicians? Uh, like the 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 sex magic where they get to travel through. Yep. Specific thing. I think I'm the only other person that watched that. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, well, because the clip skipped, but yeah. So can you guess the episode number for extra points? Uh, <laughs> just just pull a number out of your butt. Two forty five. Nope. Anyone else want to guess? One sixty nine. Nope. Chris? I'm thinking 142. Nope. Megan, pick a number. I feel like Magicians was pretty early and we still had we had Kyle with us. So I'm going to say like seven, no, 82. Megan is the closest. This was 79. Oh, so then I just said 75. Five, Megan gets points. Yep. Yes. What? Points. We're both on the board. All right, clip four. This is how you guys did, saw the movie. So, Megan, what did you like about the movie? I like that it had, like, this Ocean's Eleven sort of heist, like, style to it. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was, It was like, it's, a, it's an old medieval-style movie. Like, it's, a, like, that kind of timepiece, but it's not, like, super serious. And, you know, you know, wieners, wieners, wieners sort of thing. You know, like, it's not, it's not super, like... I love that that's the reference to Game of Thrones. What? 
<laughs> is Megan talking about? Who's up? Andrew, you're up. What is Megan talking about? I'm trying to figure. Can I hear it one more time? Because I, I actually vaguely remember this, and I'm trying to put it together. And damn me for saying I refer to it as the movie over and over again. Probably because I cannot remember the title of the movie oh, no. we are talking about. And we I talk about the title a lot, head. actually. This is just one of those weird moments where we stopped saying the title. So it really let, works. Let me hear it one more time. All right. Just how you guys did, saw the movie. So, Megan, what did you like about the movie? I like that it had, like, this Ocean's Eleven sort of heist, like, style to it. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was, It was like... It's a it's an old medieval style movie like it's a, like that kind of timepiece but it's not like <laughs> super serious and you know you know wieners 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 sort of thing you know like it's not it's not super like I love that that's the <laughs> reference to Game of Thrones There you go Okay so I ha there's a couple hints here there's a couple hints so we saw this movie all together so I'm guessing we saw it in theaters and it's a heist movie. What throws me off is her saying it's a medieval type movie where I'm like, they didn't have movies in medieval times, Megan. <laughs> but a heist medieval movie, but it's not Game of Thrones. Uh, excuse me, it's not Wieners? It's not Wieners. It's not Wieners. Uh, I'm still... The only heist movie I can remember is Ant Man. It is definitely not Ant Man. What? Okay, so someone else, someone else gets to steal. Anyone got an idea of what movie <laughs> Megan is talking about? Whole... Does Megan remember I what have movie? An idea. What movie are you I have talking an about? Idea, maybe. Um. So I know that you have like this super hard on for like Arthur lore. That's me. <laughs> no, she um, said lore, not it... Arthur. <laughs> Would you um, say that you're still? It... Wait, wait, wait. Would you say that your hard on for medieval is like uh, your sword in your stone? <laughs> oh. I would absolutely love to be Arthur Sheath in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Seven deadly. So I believe that the movie that we saw was literally just called Arthur. She's right. Yeah. Yes. I don't. Yes. Did I go see this? I don't. I don't remember seeing it. But, but yeah, she saw I, herself. Don't, I don't remember seeing this movie. Uh, but, can anyone so guess? I remember this movie. Okay, do you um, have a guess? And I remember the heistness of it was very like run, boy, run. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> do, do I have, have a... a guess for the episode number? I'm gonna say. It was in the summertime, so I'm gonna say it was like one twenty. Anyone else? Well, okay, so I was gonna say one twenty-one, but I can't do that now. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to give her the old prices, right? <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna well, go. Rob didn't tell me that I was right, so that means I didn't get it. So we're gonna go one forty. I'm gonna say ninety-four, fifty-two. Kyle's the closest, and he is actually within five because it's episode one thirty-five. Nice. I hate you. That's two. Kyle, I hate you. Megan and Kyle are two each. Got him. Damn it. All right, Kyle, load up number five. Is that what we're doing? Okay, here we go. We do an episode without pants. I am okay. I, I would yeah. like to do an episode without pants. Yeah. I mean, Kyle, we need some W's, boys. Boys, we need some W's. So we gotta, we gotta just whip them off. We gotta, we gotta bring the team together here. At least you can keep yours on. I'm um, the last, but I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, okay, no pants doesn't mean... No. It's bottomless, it just means yeah. no pants. No pants. I mean, everyone can be straight hey. up in kilts. Hey, yeah. hey, oh. No, kilt is a bottom. Kilt is a bottom. Okay, wait. I said no pants. pants, not no bottoms. I was just thinking, you know, hey, Andrew, you, you can go commando. This is like canon in, in the radio verse. <laughs> that's fair, <laughs> but to be fair, I was going to say, that's how you're supposed to wear a kilt. Oh. It's commando. Yep. The bravest man short of kilt. I am already ready. What are we talking about? <laughs> Megan, 
It's, Whose it's, turn it's, is up? It's your turn. Oh, that's mine? Megan. Megan. Didn't Megan? No, yeah, no, right. no, Megan stole. Andrew, so it's, yeah. yeah, Megan stole. So, Megan so it's is my up. turn. Yes. Yep. Okay, we are talking about No Pants Week in the studio. Nope. <laughs> what? <gasps> I mean, that's how dare that, yeah, you can vote, but I guess that's not the topic. Oh, so it's something where we we talk about that. See, I, I just want to make a note that Rob makes it a point to, you know, that I go that it is canon to the radio verse, which that I guess t- part of Tommy Westfall that I am commando all of the time. Yep. Anyone have a theory? I was like, look, thinking about the we need a dub, boys, which is I was like, okay, so. I, well, the, the time would have been right back when I got into Letterkenny again, which I think was season six. So that was like four, three or four years ago. It had to have been. Because I track numerically. Me. If I if I'm saying we need some W boys, I'm referencing Letter Kenny. Yeah, you need them dubs, boys. Ah, uh. <laughs> I have a guess for the episode number though. All right, well we'll go well with what we're talking about. Yes, we're talking about potential Patreon perks. <laughs> and one of them was to do an episode pantsless. I do all my streams pantsless. <laughs> So, any guesses on the numerical value of this episode? Okay, I'm gonna say two ten. All right, Kyle. What? Um, I just say like, like hundred. Chris. <laughs> um, one seventy six. Megan. I'm gonna say it was in the. Hold on, wait. In six years, and we're on episode 300, so it was in the beginning probably 150, so I'm going to say it was like 143. Oh, Megan, you should have held on to your guts because you would have gotten the point because it's 155. (laughs) Excuse me? What did I say? 143. 143? This is stupid. I was so close. <laughs> you should have just went, oh, it's about 150, so I'm going to go 143, so I'm close to it, and you just scooch just enough just, away. Just enough. Oh, All right. Okay, that, that means that we're just going the so game. I am so upset. So, Chris, you ready? <sighs> yeah. Is that a yes? Yeah. After the first shot, forget the paper. Boom! <laughs> Uh, in fact, uh, Rob decided to uh, like draw my like uh, my character face uh, because that... Megan refused to let me shoot you. So, so Megan didn't want to let me shoot you, uh, shoot me, and I'm like, Rob, you totally have to shoot me. And it turns out I shot myself. Oh, I Chris. know what we're talking about. Yeah, I know what we're talking about. Halo, the Halo stream. No, 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 no. 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 I have no when, idea. When we went and shot guns at the GMK Armory. Uh specifically we're talking about uh target practice yeah where rob decides to do crude versions of uh megan's mushroom heads of us and he goes and draws me and megan doesn't want me to shoot well megan doesn't want rob to shoot me and i'm begging but i'm like wait 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 no i could shoot myself i believe i won that competition as well because objectively i am the best marksman as someone with absolutely no depth perception and then shot wars after they learned how to spo- how they're supposed to aim it turns yep. out to go with halo and it works hey speaking of andrew you want to fight me in halo for that title uh, absolutely absolutely <laughs> not uh my my superior marksman skills only apply to actual firearms it does not translate to laser tag or first person shooters we, we can try this again <laughs> I'll, I'll set it up we can try this again i will absolutely love to go shooting again you know you know why i couldn't think I, of it? I, I don't think megan would no Me- megan's never been about right. guns no megan's, megan's not a gun person megan oh, hates I, guns I'm, she I hates guns gun. and soldiers and boxes and soldiers in boxes 
with uh, <laughs> immaculate facial hair, and she especially, especially dislikes eye patches. It only took Vic like eight <laughs> years to get me to shoot. <laughs> I refused for like I... eight years to shoot guns with Vic. <laughs> I will I will 100% take this offer up again once more if we can please do this. I and enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed oh, yeah. shooting. Um and it was tons of fun. I still like I'm like do I want a gun of my own? No. But if I get the option of hey, do you want to go shooting or hunting? I'm like absolutely. I'm not going to hit shit, but uh let's go for it. You know what? So any guesses on the number? 120. Um, Chris, um, when did one one seven one seventy five? Megan, uh, I want to say it was like two twenty. No, wait, hold on, we're on episode three hundred. <laughs> so that was not that long ago. I'm trying to math, and it's really hard. Well, that was, a, I don't that was at least two years ago. That was at least two it years was ago. Two, it was two years ago. So half of 150 is... 75? Wait, if you... Uh, yeah. If you split 150 up into three pieces, it's 50 each. So that would have been 10, <laughs> 2... What? 45. Like... No, 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 just let her... <laughs> 245? What math are we getting at here? All right, make... <laughs> Pick a number. Let's go. Hold on. I'm gonna send you a random number <laughs> generator. Two two oh five. Nope, this was episode one sixty. Oh, <laughs> we have Megan over here trying to solve the friggin' Banuli problem. Yeah, <laughs> she's going through. Just Matt gaming in the so chalkboard here. You know, you know what? I got <laughs> super sick like right them after apples, that, Mister Janitor. Kyle, right, Kyle. That? It's like I've got the stupid, like, beautiful mind cork board up, and I'm smoking like three <laughs> cigarettes at the same time. Just right like, on the ah! window. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. I have a question. Numbers... Did Did <laughs> Wait, Andrew and I get a point for that? From... No, none of you were close. <laughs> oh, okay. We got the topic. We knew what it was. We had the topic. I'll give each of you a half point because you kind of both burst it in. <laughs> All right. Frizz. All right. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hold that means on. I'm not last, and I'm okay with that. It's me next. Yep. Ray, Kyle? I have a question. She has a question. Chris, who is the character from that one Call of Duty game where he's all tied up in the chair, and then they're like, the mar the numbers, man, what do they mean? Oh, Mason. Ah, the numbers, Mason, what do they mean? That's me right now. Oh, I just played <laughs> that game recently, actually. <laughs> Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. Four. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, you were uh, you're insane, by the way. Um, Rob Rob asked. So Rob was ha having a hard time staying awake and attentive, and he had asked Andrew to slap him. <laughs> but Andrew was too nice. I okay, no, I'm also too weak. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget, I am physically inadequate. This was probably one of my favorite tr favorite things about this road trip because I got to slap Rob in the face. Um, basically, Andrew didn't slap him properly, like from the passenger side. He's like, "Andrew, slap me," and then Andrew tried to like, eh. and then I was, and then and then Rob was like, "No, that didn't do it," and I was like, "Hold on, Andrew, I got this," and I reached around from behind the seat and I was just like, <gasps> and then Rob was just like, "Woo!" <laughs> All right, Kyle, what are we talking about? So if you're talking about a road trip that lasts long enough for you to stay awake, it's going to Toronto. Um, cause you, I'm pretty sure you drove most of the way there. Mm -hmm. I drove most of the way there. I did the first 10. Rob was the one driving on the way back. So I think it was coming back from Toronto. That is correct. It is the road trip back. Yes! <laughs> yes. I knew it was the road to Toronto, but yeah, you're right. Chris was the one that drove there, but during the first half of the trip, 
I remember it was me and Rob and the three of you guys were sleeping in the back because I took a picture of that. As well as when me and Rob were like just alone, there was a giant truck fire on the side of the road. And so many when flames. I say giant, I mean it was both a giant truck and the fire was huge. It was just total apocalyptic, like the entire thing's engulfed in this like 30 foot flame. And episode, so episode wise, it would have still been in the middle here. I don't think we were into the 200s yet, so my best guess is going to be 165. Andrew, can you stick? Oh, t- okay. Um, <laughs> don't worry, he's wrong. Go for it, cop. 175. Nope, Chris. Wild. Uh, 192. Nope, Megan. Okay. Shoot, <laughs> the number, oh, you're a beautiful mind. <laughs> okay, Megan, do your math. Okay. I am going to be okay, using so that image it... of the math numbers for when I'm editing this. You have to, like, Photoshop my face onto Mason from, from friggin' from Call Call of Duty. Duty. So it wasn't in the, it wasn't in the first year, so it wasn't in the first 50. And it had it hadn't have go. been in the second year, so it's not in the first one hundred. So it's got to be one thirty-five. You're all undershooting this. Our conventions didn't actually start until episode two thirty-nine. Oh, what? Hey. hey Rob, real yeah. quick, when you were making these clip shows, did you you change the photos, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he's smart. Oh, that, oh yeah, that would have been really devious. It's just uh, if we can just look. So you're at the, telling me I had, I had I YouTube open. One thirty-five at oh two thirty-nine. Never mind math. That's Numbers. right. It's not five away. All right, <laughs> Andrew, you ready? You ready, Andrew? I'm ready. Then other guys can too. Boys, shirts off. Let's. Yeah, let's I'm this. curious. So out of three of us, who has the biggest nipple? Okay. Um. Okay. Cut. <laughs> We're at- me and Kyler, I think Rob's the biggest here. You're the darkest, definitely. You have the biggest, like, little eraser end there. Oh, wait, You're wait, kinda... wait. I, I lifted to the wrong side. <laughs> oh! oh you haven't That's not fair. Yeah, I never knew that. When did, when did that happen? When I turned 16. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, what are we talking about? Okay. So, <laughs> I, I know it's a misleading thing to say we were talking about our uh, just our nipples suddenly, so... I remember this conversation very specifically as this is when I also realized I had never seen Rob without his shirt because I had known him for probably a decade at this point and I had no idea that he had a pierced nipple. Oh, I, I want to hear just the beginning again. Just the tip? Just okay, the ready? Tip. ready? Yeah. Then other guys can too. Boys, shirts off. Let's. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. So, out of three of us, who has the biggest nipple? Okay. Um. Cut. <laughs> we're at... Me and Kyler, I think Rob's the biggest here. You're the darkest, definitely. You have the biggest, like, little eraser end there. Oh, wait, you're wait, kinda... wait. I, re- I lifted to the wrong side. <laughs> oh! You haven't pierced? That's not fair. Yeah, I never knew that. That's when cheating. did when did that happen? When I turned 16. <laughs> and other guys can't. I have no idea what we're talking about because I know well, Megan Thaleden, but he he's like, okay, hold on. All right, I'm gonna let you like answer. I I I don't know. I have no idea. Anyone can that. steal. Well, he said because you you said at the beginning who has like what was it the biggest nipple? Well. What it says is, uh, Megan starts off, Megan says, and then boys can too. And then for some reason, I <gasps> declare that we all have to compare our nipples. So Does Megan know? About girls or like a female character or fe- like the female and whatever we were just watching. Then I suddenly I jumped like... the breast. Are we talking Lashing laws about... in Ontario? <laughs> no. Are we, are we talking about Flashing laws? I think you're on the right track, Andrew. Try that again. Is it is it free the nipple? <laughs> nope. However, the number okay. of times I heard equal opportunity nipple tassels while looking for stuff. Holy moly, I think that's our catchphrase. <laughs> Are we talking about like those black X's that people put over as pasties? Nope. Hmm, okay. 
Any other guesses? Can you give us a hint on this one? Pepperoni nipples? I don't know. Uh, it was... <laughs> Okay, so this hint will probably give it away, but if it doesn't, it's something Megan was watching. That doesn't... It was an anime. That's, oh, you're still gonna, not helping. I was going to grab my Pornhub hoodie. Um... <laughs> oh, was it that butt-fighting anime? <laughs> no, it, it, was, it, it wasn't It was that. Joe. Give up? I'm drawing a blank. Wow. It's when Megan was talking about Galco-chan and how they had the balloon that shows nipple expansion... And then you said, <gasps> and so do boys. I remember now. <laughs> when the Thunder Geeks discovered that boys have nipples. Yep. <laughs> we do? No. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> also. 10% of boys can produce milk. Fun fact, nice. just, just so you know. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> any, any guess on the episode number? 132. <laughs> 120. 209. Oh, dang. Uh, Galco Chan again. was actually like pretty early. So I'm going to guess like 160. No. Just... Yeah. Yeah? 160? Yeah. Um, you're all way off. This is episode 69. Of course it is. <laughs> The and one fun, time. <laughs> and fun fact, that was Kyle's first episode as a Thunder Geek. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. 69, bro. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so clip nine, Andrew. I feel like the shoes would just turn against you, and like they would malfunction, and you would never get the shoes off. Or they would go too tight, and then they would just take your foot right off. Well, we do have smart technology in shoes, though. Because, yes, I mean, we, we, you have those, uh, you know, Nike and Adidas runners that have all these, you know, stuff that syncs to your phone and tells you how fast you're running and what the stride is and all these technical things that someone who sits on the couch like me isn't going to care about. <laughs> but at least I go, ooh, those are cool shoes. I would like them, but I'm not going to use them. What are we talking about, Andrew? Okay. I, I'm, so I'm trying to put this together because in the beginning there, Megan's talking about shoes getting stuck on your feet, so... I got a feeling it's some sort of horror movie and maybe an anthology of some sort because for some reason I have it stuck in my head of someone being forced to dance to their death. You are wholly incorrect. Oh, I got it. it. All right, Chris. You guys are talking about the self-tying shoes from Back to the Future and how it could just go super awry. Chris is right. Yay! You know what gave it away? That opening thing Megan said about, you know, like how it could just like cut off your feet if it's too tight. Self time uh, shoes. Yep. So, any guesses on the number of this episode? 52. Nope. Uh, 120. Nope. Please. Andrew? 104. Nope. Megan? The numbers, Mason. Uh, okay, so the self-tying shoes didn't come out until like two years ago. So I'm going to say that it was like two. No, it was like 190. Uh, so you're all off because this is episode nine when we were talking about the future of 2015. <laughs> what? Oh, man. See, the thing is, I knew that. I knew that part once I knew what we were talking about, and I knew it was around New Year's because this was one of my this is one of my favorite episodes that we were doing, and we didn't really do it this year, and maybe that's why 2020 has been so horrendous. Is every New Year we used to look forward to what are all of the movies set in the current time of the but were set in the future in their time. So uh, I believe the first time we did that was within 2015. We talked about the sixth day and their nacho cheese flavored bananas as well as Back to the Future. And, you know, just noting all of the differences between what we do have and what we don't. Uh, one of the notable ones is that Back to the Future 2 still has phone booths. Actually, so I saw someone. Those, but we didn't get uh, self-tying shoes quite yet. All right, Megan, you ready? 
Yeah. But there is an asterisk next to Kyle that may cause death. There's an asterisk, may which is death. why that I'm going to rank me higher than you because I am also going to have a happy after true, effect, true. but I don't come with the risks of death. 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 See, I think I no, taste the Or death like symptoms. You just get diabetes. I think Fuck Alicia that. would taste pretty good too. Um, I think I would taste the worst because I drink a lot of I'll, pop and I don't really take care of myself. I like, yeah, Meg, I, Megan, I think food. you taste better than I do. Are you sure? I think yes. your meat tastes better. <laughs> All right, Megan. Huh. What are we about cannibalism? Oh, uh, we're talking about go... cannibalism for sure, but I don't know why we're talking about cannibalism. I'm wondering, uh, because obviously, yeah, we're talking about eating each other like whose meat would taste the best uh but i don't know why we're talking about that i can't recall like a series or a show that would have led into this hold on i'm gonna try and guess can i try and guess the episode number now sure okay it's with alicia and alicia was joining us before kyle and Kyle was there, and Kyle's first episode was 69. And the oh numbers, Mason. The, guess... <laughs> <laughs> the numbers, Mason! <laughs> Who has my pins on this string board? I'm going to guess that the episode number is 130. Nope. Okay. But Andrew. <laughs> and, and, and Andrew. Okay, I think I know what we're talking about. I actually think we're talking about an Eli Roth movie. I'm trying to remember the exact title. It's Green no. something. No, we're not. Okay, that's the only other time I remember talking about cannibalism because he did that movie where a bunch of Greenpeace people crash, crash in the Amazon. Green and Inferno? Green Inferno was what I was thinking of, but it wasn't that. Okay. Nope. Kyle, you, you raised your eyebrow a little. Maybe you have an idea. The only other thing I could think of is that like, well, I can't remember his name, but it's like the, the plane crash in the mountains where they start eating Alive. each other. Alive? And it's not. Chris, any guesses? Why did we talk about eating each other? <laughs> I Walking Dead, maybe? I don't like zombies eat. Nope. Meat. Someone on the stream asked us who tastes best. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> and okay. you know what? I think Chris might taste the best because he has the most preservatives, so it'd be like yeah. beef yeah. jerky. Yeah, but I'm rotten and, and falling apart. No, it's like <laughs> It's like those cheese-filled sausages. You just, like, bite into one, and they... That's yeah, exactly. Exactly. I hate those. Hold on. But you are so one. So, I... I was I was told that um, there was, like, these interviews that people had done with, like, ca actual cannibals. And cannibals said that people with tattooed skin doesn't don't taste right. But they said the best-tasting people were people that usually had, like, a high salt content in their diet, like people of Asian descent. So I think that since Chris does oh, no. eat a lot of salt in his diet in the yep. ways of cheese, I and think salt. that Chris's meat <laughs> salt. would taste the best. I believe I, yeah. that Chris is previously already like marinated and like <laughs> pre-seasoned. Chris, Chris is pre-seasoned. <laughs> okay, uh, so... I need a shirt for Chris that just says pre-seasoned. I, I, guess... I need a shirt that that says that. <laughs> Episode number. 190. Nope. 110. Nope. Oh, Megan already guessed. That's right. 82. Nope. Aww. Come um, on, Chris. It was after I joined because I could hear it in the background. We were streaming. And that's what I was trying to figure out as well. Is yeah. We were streaming at that point. Oh, I'm just trying to think when the NSP giveaway was because that. That's essentially after when I started, or before I started. Uh, 182. The correct answer, and Andrew, you're going to kick yourself because you're off by one to get the point. <laughs> no. It's 104. Aw, give I it to him anyways. Uh, <laughs> you know, hey, no no handouts. Point. He gets an no eight handouts. little points. Come on. <laughs> no handouts. You guys suck. Can I get a half point? You get no, no half point. points. A sixteenth of a point. <laughs> Can I have a sixteenth of a point? <laughs> nope. Who's next? I got I, my half point. It's that was that was Megan. So we're back to Chris. Yep. Oh god, this is getting confusing. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. 
I like I'm just thinking of like people with hair around their nipples and I'm like huh? what? <laughs> why? P- people why? Who, are, are people you thinking who... about braiding them? No, like <laughs> why not? Because that's instant that's, castle. That's, yeah, why are you that, thinking that's... about hair nip Steve? Because like... <laughs> <laughs> Megan, we're gonna be on the cutting edge here. We're gonna braid. Uh, we're gonna make a new genera- like a new category inside of Red Tube. We're just gonna be braided nipple hair. Well, like I'm just like. And we'll create our own tassels. We have to. We have to make it so that the uh, the adhesive is not too strong that it rips out the hair but strong enough that it stays on no no i want to go all natural we need to like <laughs> encourage the growth and then hi jason how's it going <laughs> why is this mine why do i have to guess this one of all people <laughs> <laughs> yeah hairy beast so chris why were we talking about making all natural nipple tassels in front of this or oh, our former station manager <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> oh, hi, Jason. Yeah, my, my guess is because Jason walked in. <laughs> I, I, Chris, I assume if you get this like, one, you win. What Just do you mean if I get this one? I assume it's because we have this has so in the little to do with the, the topic. What? <laughs> oh, Honestly, God. don't even think about nipples. <laughs> I usually don't, but like, <laughs> yeah, we talk about nipples a lot on the show. Apparently, I'm okay with that. We're pretty sex positive. Yeah, uh, was it like? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyone want to guess? <laughs> me. Megan, me, what are me, we me, talking me. about? I know that we're talking about pasties. We're talking about pasties, but I don't know why. We are actually not talking about pasties. Oh no. Yeah, I... My memory it's... bad. I'm nervous. trying to figure out, because Megan's the one that transitions here, where suddenly she declares that she's thinking about the hair around people's nipples. <laughs> I feel personally attacked on this one. Which is so a left turn off of probably whatever we were talking about, which is why I got so invested, because I'm just fascinated by how this is connecting. <laughs> All four of my chest hairs hurt. (laughs) (laughs) All 400 of mine hurt. (laughs) That's that's a low guess, but... um, It is a low guess. Give up? I got... So, So, we were talking about the new uh, Thunder Geeks t-shirts for men and women, and Andrew said he'd want to wear a women's shirt, but his nipple hair would stick out. (laughs) I'm... I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> oh man, I'm a, that, that, okay. Okay, okay. So I'm, I got to figure out the the episode number here, um, because I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some beautiful mind math on this. Oh my god, <laughs> not those numbers. Yes, shirt. the numbers, Mason. But I was still in shape enough to be confident on wanting to wear the women's cut shirt, so I'd have this like great like you know just uh. Just hourglass going on. So it has to be around 2016, because that's when Pokemon Go came out, and that's when I was in the best shape of my life. Hate this. So and then it would have been near probably ThunderCon, because I believe that is when we got so we're talking four years ago. So I'm gonna minus 200 off the bat. I'm gonna guess episode 80. No, but your math isn't wrong, so to speak. You're on the right track. 120. Nope. Uh, 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 one, Come on, Chris. Uh, <laughs> 167. <laughs> nope. Megan? 94? Megan wins 97. Ah, uh, see, I yes! knew I knew a hundred percent that it was going to be under at a hundred episodes because I know we had done ThunderCon before episode one hundred. That's why Rob got the shirts, and I was in immaculate shape. <laughs> also, I like how All right, yeah. Kyle. Okay, I like how I was down to medium doing the shirts numbers. at that point. You ready, Kyle? Mm. Yeah. Hold the drama, Rob. Rob. <laughs> See, Rob. Rob them. just doesn't understand positivity. <laughs> what? 
I know exactly what you're talking here about. Everyone here understands positivity. It's me. It's the negative one. No, you know what? If anyone could like out oh, no, happy Rob, it would be JoJo Siwa. And sure. Rob, oh, in okay, fact, you are B negative. So I know exactly <laughs> what this is. That's awful. He is B negative, aren't you? We all got our. We all yeah. Got, yeah. We all and got I'm A positive because I'm the best. You're A plus. I, I'm number one. Oh my god. I'm the edgy. That's the I'm only the place I'm one. gonna have a perfect mark. I'm the edgy one, and I'm typo negative. <laughs> Does that mean like you're universal though? I am. So we're gonna steal your kidneys. Cool. Yeah. You, you <laughs> are a harvest. I, oh, that's why we keep you oh, around. We love making We're only gonna take one. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking this one. Yep. Probably. I, I feel like lefty. I don't really use that one. I call the left one bitey. <laughs> I mean, My you calling your kidneys bitey? That is a <laughs> massive concern. Okay, so <clears throat> this is definitely after the like convention where we got our blood types taken. Uh, I don't know what else would be more specific about that. Well, I I think the specific thing that we were talking about is we were talking about the Japanese sort of horoscope-ish thing they have for blood types. So we were going through those based upon the blood types that we had had, as well as talking about JoJo Siwa. Andrew's close, but not right. right. Oh. Okay. Anyone else want to take a guess? Are we, ta are we talking about Resident Evil and how the no. blood types affect how the virus impacts them? No? Yeah! Cute. It was definitely like after we went to Icon, we got our, all of our blood tested. Uh, yeah. Talking about how the blood does the zodiac stuff, blah, blah, blah. And how Rob is somehow negatively positive and we're all positively depressed. I'm, <laughs> I'm the, the positive one and he's the negative blood type. Yeah, but, no, that's that's what we learned. Uh, I believe that we're all neg Rob was the only one with a negative blood type, but he's yeah. the most positive person, and the rest of us had positive blood types, no. and we are... I'm the typo negative as well. Oh, you're... Okay, well, you're also a positive person. Yes, that's very true. Exactly. The, the, you know what? This proves our point more. Yes. <laughs> it's been years, and it's back. <laughs> So what we're actually talking about is my confusion over who the hell Jojo Sinwa is. Hey, well, no, no, I said Jojo I said, Siwa. I said half right because you just said and Jojo and Siwa. And Jojo Siwa. No, I, judges, I think I get that because I specifically said and we're talking about Jojo Siwa. But it's specifically I, my I got shenanigans. I'm well, going to call shenanigans. And Shenanigans. You, you want a half a point? I at least want a half a point here because get, I knew we were talking point. about JoJo. I'll, I'll see, the only yeah. reason I didn't focus on JoJo is because I named her by name during that clip, so I didn't think Rob would be that obvious. But 100% yes. <laughs> okay, half a point. Because yeah, Alicia so opens, talking about how... Alicia yeah, opens up her smash Alicia... hit the drama where she just wants to dance, 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 dance. So Andrew, you're up and next. And you gotta listen super close. But we do. Um, we didn't do episode numbers. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. Episode number. episode number. Chris, go first. Uh, two fifteen. Kyle, two thirty-five. Andrew, one ninety. Megan, then before number. Two one no it's not 150 it's like one uh, 75 183 okay. hold on before you answer this did we not just say like 20 minutes ago that we started our conventions in like the 200s yes oh <laughs> <laughs> yes so Kyle's oh. closest, but he's not within point range yeah. and, and Rob Rob, now I, I do have a question before we move on. Do you now understand the uh, the smash hit mega pop star JoJo Siwa and her no, dominance honestly, of the planet? I haven't thought, thought of the name until I heard it in the clip. Andrew, she's gonna be on Cribs. Nice. Cribs is still a thing. No, Cribs is coming back. Um, <laughs> I mean, right. I've seen her house tour already. She built a stage on her own in the backyard after the Rona canceled her concerts. So. 
and she has a candy bedroom. All right, Andrew, this one's all you. Okay. And because I'm looking at the description, y'all listen super close. Okay. All right, Kyle, you ready? All right. Okay, okay. Bro, so if this is your first time tuning in, hi, we're your Thunder Geeks. We like to gather talk about what we've been up to this week and try to make you laugh for an hour and a half. We have a couple special events coming up. Man, this is really hard to do because Rob is cruel and evil, and you can see. What? All right, oh, then. it cuts off so quickly. Oh, yep. Because that's the intro of a show. I needed like five more seconds on that. Why am I cruel and evil, Andrew? Because you're you. I believe <laughs> that this is a Halloween episode. I believe you're involving a clown somehow. Um, I don't think you because this is when it wasn't when you were dressed up as a clown because I was talking about that when you came in. And then I still think Rob is subjecting me to a clown on Halloween as I'm trying to do the intro of the episode. Is that close enough? That is actually Wait, exactly what's going on. Is it okay. when specifically when you brought Dylan in? No. No, it because... was when Alicia bought me dollar store makeup and said, Rob, 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 do this, do this, do this. I'm like, okay. Because, yeah, th there was three incidents that Rob is dressed <laughs> up as a clown. So there was that one. There was the one where Rob fucking... <laughs> there was the one that Rob lied and said he was missing the Halloween episode. So me being a nice friend, I'm trying to, thinking Rob is listening, wish him, you know, like, well and stuff. And I don't know that he is now standing directly behind me, dressed as a clown, until he's right beside my face and I scream. And, like, and then there was the third one that showed I am 100% ready for a serial killer. Because the moment I heard the front door... I knew, uh-oh, bam, and I locked it, and I was ready to go through the station window if it was large enough. I My my favorite of that is always going to be the second one, because you were just talking and talking, and everybody else's faces were changing the whole time. Yeah, the one where I snuck up on you was <laughs> still my favorite. I have one of my favorite, yeah, one of my favorite things about Andrew is the look on his face when he starts getting into fight or flight mode. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> He has a very specific, like, his whole face is just stone, and his, like, pupils, like, start, like, honing in, and they're, like, he's so focused, and there's, like, you could almost see the sweat start to building up, but he's just, like, it's honestly, like, one of my favorite looks <laughs> on his face. <laughs> Because I know, like, either, like, yeah, we're going to do this, stuff's going to be awesome, or it's going to be like, <laughs> Andrew's getting messed up by a clown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know that it physically shows, because, Megan, you're not wrong. The moment I, it is literally a switch over flip, where the rest of my thoughts are turning off, and I have one hyper-focused goal, and that is the only thing I am thinking about <laughs> at that moment, and... All of my brain power, as scattered as it is, is just going out to the wind of possibilities in that moment of what my next action can be. But I, so I get the point. I get the point. I want to guess. I'm going to guess episode 50. Anyone else? Uh, uh, 75. I don't know. What's the spookiest number I can think of? 113. <laughs> Megan? Um, uh, was it episode... No, we started around Halloween, so that would have been October. And this would have been October. Okay, so I'm going to guess that it was episode... Uh, one... Hold on. One... Fifty-seven... So close, Megan. So bloody close. I one swear. 51. I swear. One what? <laughs> one fifty one. <laughs> you're literally. What one did off I say? One fifty seven. Yeah, you're one off. So you're I swear. <laughs> that is not even fair anymore. I'm just gonna Wait. scream. It's gonna be within five. <laughs> yeah, that's that's off by six. 
stuff. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Chris does math good, like. Yeah. I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna go. Just. I'm gonna go for a nap now. <laughs> oh, hold on, Nathan, it's your turn, and this one could get you like redemption. You ready? One. All right. I actually, so just like, on. just molested uh, a mannequin yeah, at uh, <laughs> <laughs> at EB Games like two days ago. What makes you feel like a geek? Oh, when I molest mannequins in the mall, and people are like, "Wow, she's a geek." What are we talking about? I think she needs to hear it again. Yeah, but Megan wasn't ready. So can we play that one more time? So I actually. Oh, did she hear? It? I heard it. All I right. Heard it? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I believe the beginning was, I actually just molested a mannequin. Yup. Now, I know for a fact that it was in a store. <laughs> That's no. where mannequins are. No, That's, what are you talking about? I think you're on the right track. Megan, <laughs> why did you molest a mannequin and what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> was that the whole clip? I just molested a mannequin recently, and then it was just us laughing, and then what was it at the end? And, and why it makes you a geek. Play it again. Play the clip again. Oh, hold on. I have to turn down. Yeah, this one's a louder one, because Megan goes all out. One. I actually, like, just molested a mannequin at, uh, <laughs> at EB Games, like, two days ago. What makes you feel like a geek? Oh, when I molest mannequins in the mall, and people are like, wow, she's a geek. So what are we talking about, Megan? I don't even... <clears throat> I don't even remember EB Games ever having a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't. What? Maybe they didn't the whole time. Maybe it was never a mannequin. Maybe it was a man disguised as a mannequin. Ah, uh, a man. <laughs> just walked in there and just started feeling up Jeff. <laughs> oh, hey, Kyle. Hey, sorry. I had to, I had to, I had to rub your back a little, like, you know. <laughs> Megan, is that where my name's Jeff comes in? It's just one day you were like, ooh, mannequin. He's like, my name's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they did actually have a mannequin like on top of the 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 rack at one point. I now I'm trying to remember. Yeah, now I'm trying to remember which geeky shirt it was that I ripped off of this mannequin because I had so many at one point, and now like I can't even. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm trying to I'm trying <laughs> right to now or previously. That, I'm trying to think of characters that Megan would like actively molest. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> I was like Metal Gear Solid, Last of Us. I don't have any Last of Us shirts. I don't have any Metal Gear Solid shirts, surprisingly. So it had to have been a different one. Rooted dude. Oh Cowboy no. Shooting. I you know so what? What's I on the shirt no is idea. not important. Okay, so oh. we are on the wrong track entirely. Yeah. Can you give us a hint for this oh. one? Because this one's a little out of nowhere. This was actually a special episode. What? So we had a guest with us, I'm assuming. No. Yes? No. 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 No, no guest. I actually Intentionally went out of my way to not pick guest episodes because they're so iconic. We'd know them like that. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a brave assumption. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> oh yeah, no. If Rob would have picked any guest episode, I would have known exactly what we were doing at that point. Yeah. You know what? I have no idea. Anyone want to know why Megan is molesting a mannequin? I. I have sure. no clue. Yeah, I, I mean, whatever work. floats her boat. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it was a special episode, and I'm not going to give away the number just yet, but Andrew asked us each the question, what makes you feel like a geek? And then Megan said, well, I'm a less than a mannequin. That's <laughs> episode 100? The... Yes. Ah, I get the point. Yeah, because I, I would have, if I was asking for a very special episode, it's rather going to be a guest episode, an anniversary, 
or a divisible under. by 10 milestone. What about a birthday? Or a birthday. Birthdays are special yeah. episodes. Or but, birthday. But, like, if I was asking the question of what makes you a geek, I, I yeah, I think I, I think I had this for 100 or 200, so... I knew it wasn't 300. <laughs> I did, took a 50-50 shot Did I here. go on to... Did I go on to explain why I'm a less of that mannequin? No. That was the That's end of your better. story. <laughs> 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 Would you like to make up a reason now, Megan? <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a reason. There had to have been a shirt on there that I really wanted. You didn't specify a shirt. You just said there was a shirt on a mannequin and you molested it. Yeah, Megan, how That's did you manifest it? That's what I just said. B you just Megan. said you didn't specify a shirt. You just said that there was a shirt on the mannequin. That's literally what you just said. Yep. So, but how did I... you manifest your molestation of a mannequin? Uh, from playing Silent Hill 2, obviously. If you don't get that <laughs> reference, I'm so sorry. I don't get that reference. It's a good game. Good game. You're the only cool one, Megan. Oh, th <laughs> hey. we knew that. All right, Everyone Chris, you ready? Knows that. Yep. Okay. All right. Hey, this will, because we can talk about dude stuff. So, what's your favorite flower? Lotus. Daffodils. I like cat mint. I'm sorry. Cat mint. Probably just because cats in the word. Yeah, and it attracts cats. What about cat dip? I did not know what cat cat mint. Well, catnip's not a flower. We have cat is it? No, around. it's a leaf. But doesn't the leaf have a flower attached somewhere? Not necessarily. There are plants without flowers, Rob. <laughs> no, but I always imagine catnip should have like little flowers, like you know, it's a little. White. Ever see a strawberry before it became a berry? The little white flowers. Sure. So, I guess I'm the only one here who's actually picked wild strawberries. Yes, <laughs> I have never been outside. No As you're wearing the most outdoorsy <laughs> shirt you could. Oh, oh man. That was the fruitiest sentence I think I've ever heard Rob say. <laughs> so, Chris, what are we talking about? Um, well, it was definitely our first Dude Guy Bro episode because it was just the four of us. Uh, and we were. I don't know how it turned into talking about flowers, but I know that's just where it turned into. Then it turned into making fun of you. I mean, most Which is how do. most conversations do. Yeah, no, exactly. It's just so easy. <laughs> we rob them of the chance. It, I am going to give it to Chris because this is our first Megan Free episode. Yeah, the first Dude Guy Bro episode. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. I didn't pick that part out of it. I think we were talking about tea. Nope. Uh, literally, we went, we talk about anything, Megan's not here. So what's your favorite flower? So, like, the start <laughs> of the clip is, like, it's the first Dude Bro episode. Yeah. yeah. That, that is all. That, correct. Correct. Uh, so, anyone want to guess the number? You guys, and then... Oh. How long did it take for Megan to run away? 155. 172. 215. Megan? Megan? Two. Okay, so it was probably when I was in, like, maybe Geraldton. So I was on vacation. So it would have had to have been there Christmas sometime, maybe. So it was after Kyle joined us, which. So it was probably episode uh, one. one, one is it? Is it? Uh, <laughs> I, got, I, got a song ah, I don't know how to do math. One thirty-two. I keep asking for one thirty-two. That's it. I don't care. Nope. Uh, Chris, you're off by one. It was one seventy-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say words, but I can't say words. Oh man! Right, if Kyle. you had only said more than five, either way. <laughs> Ow! All right. All right. So we have a we have a special guest. Let me make my eyes all dirty. Uh, Bob Sockskins. Hi, Megan. Who you got party eyes. Would you like to kiss? Yes, I would, shot Bob Sockskins. Make it stop. <laughs> you're, the, you're the actual words. What? All right, Kyle. 
What are we talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to participate in this round. I'm just gonna go. With I, I'm assuming since his name is Bob Sock Sockskins, that Andrew has a sock puppet on his hand. Yo. But, like specifically, I have taken my sock off, but put it why? on. Why? <laughs> I could not tell you why. Why? <laughs> and why I related to Bob Hoskins. Yeah, that's what I was like. We have a I'm special in guest, Bob Hoskins. I was like, what? Uh, maybe it's because it's the only like accent I can do where I'm Bob. So oh, okay, wait, wait. You know what? You know what? Let's. Uh... <laughs> Rob, 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 can anything. I vote? Can I vote to vote, phone a friend? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Do we have the return of Bob Sockskins here? <laughs> um, <laughs> were we talking about who framed Roger Rabbit in any capacity? Nope. Why would who framed Roger Rabbit come up? Because he's the detective. Bob Hoskins. Does it have anything to do with Bob Hoskins? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I have to say, I was going through a time. And I don't remember a lot of that period in my life. Megan, do you have any idea? Because he was attacking you. Yeah. I mean, that happens on a regular you basis. So. Is, is it because <laughs> Megan has an attraction to the, the dude from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Nope. What? No. All right. Are so... we talking about. Hold on. Are we talking about. Oh, I know. You know? We are, ta are we talking about... Okay, Megan goes first. Are we talking about the Super Mario Brothers movie somehow? Yep. That's what I was going to guess, but I knew Megan had it, so I had to give it to her since I didn't want to... That yeah. We we're making fun of Megan for liking <laughs> Super Mario. <laughs> and Andrew, for some reason, decided <laughs> yes! to make a sock puppet because the only reason <laughs> Megan should love the movie is because she's got a thing for Bob Hoskins. All right. Even though John Leguizamo is so hot, actually, you originally Andrew originally started with the John Le Sacuizamo puppet, and you and you said you're not into him. So Andrew switched it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, but here's the thing: I think that John Leguizamo is hot, but I won't find him like sexually attractive. I can find people attractive and not be attracted to them. Does that make sense? Okay, so Megan, but the ultimate question is: is who is your favorite sock foo? Uh, jo I don't it's Leg was sock mo or Bob Sockskins? <laughs> Andrew, don't even do He's it. He's taking the other sock off. He's doing both. I can see you moving them around, you fuck. So is it Bob Sockskins? <laughs> Or John Leg with Saxmo. I feel <laughs> hatred. <laughs> He's making them kiss. I hate you. <laughs> Who's your sock food, Megan? Choose me. Liz. It's me, John Leg with Saxmo. I'm the number two. Because <laughs> I'm the left foot. I'm not. I'm On your right hand socks, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Will you suck it to me, baby? <laughs> Headphones are coming off. I am just not I'm not gonna say anything. I'm I love guess. this, Third. but I hate you so much for this. Well, y'all gotta guess an episode number. <laughs> and Megan has to tell us her sock foo. Uh, not, because I don't have one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> one ninety five. What nope. happened, Megan? between me and Jog Lake with Saxmo. <laughs> it's gotta be an earlier episode, so I'm gonna say it's probably around like uh I'm gonna say it's maybe like sixty four. Nope. Chris, what number? Oh. What number just ends all this? <laughs> um I don't know. One oh two? Nope. Andrew, what do you got? Uh, I guess two thirty. Andrew's the closest, but not close enough with 242. Dang it. Uh... And this is the last clip. So 
Let's just make it a free for all. That's a terrible one. Yep. Uh, hold up. Here on Thunder Geeks, we like to talk about mature things like comic books and cartoons, and some of the subject matter can be really mature too. So listening discretion is advised. With the CRTC out of the way. Hey, bro, wait, wait, wait. Martin Freeman has a porno? No, but there's one uh, male actor who looks shockingly like him. We're I talking think, about uh, Black Panther. Oh, yeah, no, I know this one. <laughs> no. Yeah, there, there, is, no. there is a porn star out there who looks a lot like Martin. Okay, we're not talking about Black Panther. Not Black Panther. I don't There's know who Martin. actors. Are we talking about Martin Freeman? Or are we talking about Morgan Freeman? Martin Freeman. Oh, that'd be a very different porno. I am going to now okay. insert oh. myself I, into you. I am talking about a New Zealand movie that was based off of a short film where he plays a guy who is infected by a zombie virus. And it's, oh, I can't remember the, what it's called, but it's the one, Precious Cargo. We're talking about Precious Cargo. Holy crow, go Megan. Whoa. Yes! What, what's the episode number? Come on, Megan, let's see if you can get. Uh, no, I'm not good at that. I'm really not good at that. Um, no I one believe is. we had we had Kyle with us, so that was probably after 69. Um, so I'm gonna i I'm gonna guess uh hundred one one fifty uh one one sixty four. Nope. Andrew. Ah shit. Whoops, I said the bad word. Oh dang. <laughs> Don't worry, and... I have two of my own to edit out this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we should just all get one at this point. Andrew, what number? Okay, I'm going to guess... 270. Nope. What about you, Kyle? 195. Chris? Chris? I'm thinking. Um, the numbers, Mason. I I literally just found that as a song. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say it was probably before Kyle. So fifty six. Kyle actually gets the point because it's one ninety. Got him. All right. Well, and the scores what? go. Wait, 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 wait. I I, I was I was writing out a message. Um, can I propose, if anyone else can come up with trivia questions, can we do bonus points? Because I have a question for everyone if they can remember. All right. What is the very first song I played on the radio? Everything is awesome. Okay, but Rob, you're, you, <laughs> you can have a point, but you definitely can't win. I don't care. I give him a point. <laughs> Considering I'm I was going to say it, too. You suck. You stole points from us oh, how okay. dare you oh okay okay i can make it i can make it harder uh yeah. i can actually bring up spinatron most likely and find out what songs we had played randomly while you're bathed in the light of god <laughs> oh yeah i'll i'll, I'll fix that. <laughs> uh, rob's good that? memory though on that one well that, that was the first song um what was the second? I'm trying to remember, <laughs> I because I also had, I had a specific one for the last song as well. I used to plan out uh, during the first year when I was just still discovering a lot of music, I was able to plan out a lot of the, uh, the song titles. And I also used to write them down, which might make it a lot easier for me if I just bring it up here. So my my question is going to be. What's the last song I played that episode? Uh, is it still Lego Movie related? No, no, no. I I started with Everything Is Awesome just because it's such an iconic, you know, sort of song. Um, I don't know why, but this is popping in my head. Good night, sweet uh, Dragon Slayer, Demon Slayer. I Rob is the... correct. It Holy good night, Slayer from Voltaire. I remember because you wanted the first song to be super energetic, the last song to be a lullaby. 
Absolutely. Absolutely, Rob. No, I am so very impressed, Rob. Good job. No, can okay. I, I, I? I want to propose something. Since Rob was the trivia master, how about we take his points and split them up into four, and then we so each get <laughs> half a point so that Rob doesn't get any? And Chris gets the points. <laughs> get any. Chris got points. Chris did, yes. Do you remember the video game we talked about during that first episode? I think it was called Hatred. Fallout. <laughs> Rob is correct. We were talking about Hatred. Because that was when <laughs> there was another do video games cause uh, violence? Ah, uh, my favorite thing? topic. Uh... Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I, I brought up the show notes from our very first show notes. So we talked about the Hatred controversy. And also, at that time, it was rumored to have Carrie Kelly in Batman v Superman. That sure never happened. Nope. Uh, I also have the DC uh, movie lineup at that point. <laughs> uh, so, the first couple are the same. You know, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman. Uh, then it was Justice League Part 1, directed by Zack Snyder in 2017. Yeah. The Flash in 2018 uh, Aquaman in 2018 Shazam in 2019 didn't we, Justice, get that? we did get Shazam and Aquaman I technically just Justice, Justice League. League part two in 2019 <laughs> Cyborg in 2020 <laughs> as well as Green Lantern in 2020 oh <laughs> well they're they're working on that one aren't they still it's a TV show oh Okay, there we go. And we got Wonder Woman this year, question mark? What? Uh, we'll see, maybe? Kyle, look at the bright side. You got <laughs> lamp lighter. Yeah, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> you had a... him for a good little bit. I had him for like two episodes, and then he decided to just burn out on the show, I guess. That was really fun. <laughs> I don't know. I think he gave him a bit of a cold shoulder. He might this come back, has been... Though. There's a, there's a time an and interesting a place. trip down memory lane. Okay, I I it, brought up I brought up the notes as well for Kyle's first episode. Kyle, do you remember what you nope. talked about on your very first nope. episode? I don't remember what we talked about last week. I no no no, R Kyle. Was <laughs> it WoW related? It's not WoW related, so it's not WoW. So if it wasn't WoW, Kyle, if you deep down into your instincts of 2016. Was it what was your time? passion other than WoW? I was going to say either Isaac or League of Legends. I'm thinking Adventure Time. It was a video game. There's oh. one other video game that I think that, that could be named here. God of War? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just God, kidding. God that was, was like... Yeah. So... Digimon? Nope, it was Diablo. Oh, oh. Uh. So yeah, so Kyle, on your first episode, apparently we talked about Super Bowl commercials. Uh, and then the Fine Bros had the React scandal when they tried to trademark the word React. Oh, that one. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> it went super well. Oh, and uh, the, the Binding of Isaac got denied from the <laughs> iOS store. Oh, yeah, because it's religious content. Oh, well, I so I did mention Isaac. <laughs> yeah, hey, you gotta give him points. There. Like, it's gotta be one of the two, then. Yeah, you did. We still did talk about Isaac, so that's fair. That's half point. Uh, you know, we're still on Diablo 3. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gone on a burger yet? I haven't played Diablo in like a year and a half because so it's no. the same game. <laughs> so no. I, have, I have no reason to play it. And yet you still play Isaac. That's because it's a fun game. It's also kind of more random. Diablo is literally the same thing. Yep. So one of my one of my favorite episodes, I remember specifically we used none of the show notes. So we Rob actually referenced it um, is when we used to do the uh, the lookbacks at 
movie set in the future of the current year. And the, that first one that we did was 2015 Back to the Future 2 versus The Sixth Day. And instead of talking about anything else that we had planned, we actually scrapped the entire episode and kept that as the topic the entire time. And I absolutely loved the episode. But then I brought up, I'm like, what the hell were we supposed to talk about that episode? And whew, you know what? I'm glad we didn't talk about it because most of these are awful. Um, they did that uh, 2015 Inspector Gadget reboot. They had the Be Cool Scooby-Doo from uh, Seth MacFarlane. They had Digimon Try. And the only thing that I cared about, actually, no, there's two. There's two. Uh, Cute High Earth Defense Club Love. Yes. And, that was... and Star vs. the Forces of Evil. But instead of talking about any of that, we, we talked about what was happening in the current future of current year. Yeah, we saved that for the one after. Yeah, we, I think, yeah, we pushed a lot of that back. Uh, but also, after we did that episode is when I started taking the chains off the leash more, where we were like, you know what, like, let, let's find a place to start talking. However, the faster we move away and into our own interesting corner of conversation we get, the better it turns out. And most of those clips that you've pulled up this thing is exactly that. And it's been some of my favorite moments of doing the the show over the past six years. Do y'all got a favorite memory or anything? Uh, besides scaring you senseless several, several times. Uh, <laughs> yes, when I did the Christmas scavenger hunt. And uh, basically the Guinness question where you all just kind of rage quit at a pop can. <laughs> it was not a pop can! It I know. was not a pop can. It was an alcoholic beverage. Still made me laugh how mad you guys got. Also, I there uh, one... refused. To... <laughs> there was one I clip I almost it. used, but it's one of those. It is so vague. It can actually be like 10 different things for us where you just basically start the episode by going, damn it, Robert stole my wallet again. <laughs> <laughs> that happened quite a bit. Some of it did some of my favorite things involve like really like making andrew laugh really hard and one of them is when i start talking like <laughs> when i start talking like <laughs> mr krabs <laughs> like i just i don't know what it is but every time i talk like uh mr krabs it makes andrew laugh my other favorite thing to do um, with us as a crew is anytime Andrew starts talking about conspiracies because <laughs> it makes Rob so mad because I end up saying oh blah 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 some scientific researchers say yes you know like and then alien Andrew starts going on about the yeah the ancient alien stuff just makes Rob rage quit and I think that's hilarious Oh, sure. It's funny when I rage We've quit, but when him. I want someone else to rage quit, Megan's always like, oh, stop being mean. Yeah, that's exactly the point. That is exactly the point, because you yeah. go to the ends of the earth to try and get on our last nerve, and you can't handle it when we do it back to you. And that just is like, Mwah! Mm, the sous chef kiss. So... I also went and looked up all of the movies that are set in the future of 2020. Some of them are kind of like the future as they were made in like 2019 and then kind of shuffled forward. But the few that stand out to me is uh, Sharknado. The Fourth Awakens takes place in 2020. Uh, I mean... Edge of Tomorrow. And The Invisible Man all take place in 2020. I swear there was more, though. I mean, we're, want, we're due for a Sharknado. You want a fun fact that'll make you more paranoid about what's coming up in the year? Mad oh, Max, the first the one, takes place in 2021. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Everybody start getting your post-apocalyptic costume together. I need a cod piece. Yeah, because... Break out the start... leather jackets. When we started out this show as well, the, our biggest concern was the... Tw oh, it was a zombie apocalypse. 
and we're probably not looking at zombies anymore unless the and, and unless the the cure and the, or the mutation of the virus happens uh we always thought it would be a, like a some sort of viral strain nope i've been but listening to you andrew we're probably past. looking at at mad max for the sort of desert fire hellscape so do we have to change our post-apocalyptic strategy now yeah hard water oh. so nestle's time. hard water hard gasoline well we're good for, for the water. Hard. the area we're in i think has like the most freshwater lakes per square meter yep so water we're pretty okay on but that's also why we're going to be invaded yep yeah no andrew after listening to a lot of episodes your greatest fear was always the robot uprising well that's fair that's fair well that, that's the thing is with the robot uprising it's one of those threats that is foreseeably coming and we are likely going to lose because if we have robots that are now capable of resisting our control, they are pretty logically going to be smarter than us. So I, I try to think of how can we outhuman the robots before they unhuman our lives. Or we welcome them as our new leaders. We might have already. The algorithm kind of controls a lot of our lives already, and that is a form of AI. You can look at how much people have changed over the past couple years just because of what algorithms have fed them. So right. for all we know, we're already in the robot apocalypse. Just look at TikTok. The whole thing is based on an algorithm. Exactly. Yep. Well, well, not just TikTok. Facebook is based on an algorithm. What comes up in your newsfeed while you're scrolling and who of your friends shows up and which of their comments are shown into you and which of your groups you're following are shown into you, that's all based on an algorithm. Uh, your YouTube suggested sidebar is all based on an algorithm. Actually, your Google search results on themselves will be different than a lot of other people's just based on an algorithm that you have no control over and will never see. So you are already controlled by the robots before you even knew it. Yay! I welcome our robot overlords, I've been saying for years. I mean, that just sounds like damage control, so they won't get mad at us. <laughs> no, I've been saying it since day one. I have pointed you to movies and books I want you to watch that show the robot overlords aren't that bad. And considering the leaders the world has right now, I'll take a robot. My worry with robots is that they seek efficiency, and humans <sighs> are inherently inefficient and illogical. And that's when I think they will want to replace us, where it's like, okay, our point is still to care for the humans, but the humans are the problem, so let's make better humans, and that's when they'll replace us. And will we be human anymore? Or will we be biological robots? Same right, thing. Probably. I played Deus Ex Machina, it's fine. Yeah. And I believe in the ship of Theseus philosophy that, you know, as long as this thing's still kicking, it's us. I, I am starting to become concerned, though, of uh, the southern border turning into a fiery hellscape and them coming for our water. Yeah, that part, yeah. So, yeah, we're like, we, we might need to go all Turbo Kid on things. So I, we need bikes and bikes and whatever that machine was that you could feed people into and get water out. Bike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be okay with the tanker apocalypse. You just want to jump on a kangaroo, man. I, I want to. No, I want Ice T to be a half kangaroo friend that is my friend named Boogie. Ice T is no one's friend. <laughs> no, he went back to his home planet as Water T. Now he knows how to care again. So, Rob, okay, now tell us who won the game. Uh, can, you, can you give it in reverse order? All right. Chris, you lost. Yeah, that's a given. Andrew, you almost lost. I didn't come in last, though. How many points did I have? I think it was 4-4-3-2. Four, four, so basically what I'm saying is these two, K Kyle and Megan, tied. Oh, they tied. We always do this. We need a tiebreaker then. And I had two tiebreaker questions until Rob answered both of them. I'm sorry. I, I got too excited to play. 
I'm always the game master. I never get to be the player. Feels bad, man. <laughs> all right, all wasn't right. Wasn't there one audio clip that wasn't working properly? Could we try and use that one again? Okay, so it's only... Okay, everything else is like at minimum 300 kilobytes. That one's only two. Yeah, that one I think just didn't download properly, so that's probably my bad. Definitely my bad. Aww. Do you remember where it's from? Uh, see, one second, I gotta pull it up. It was from episode 48. Uh, 32 minutes, 3 seconds. 32 minutes, 3 seconds. Okay. Um, let's Let's see if I can pull off a MacGuffin here. What was the episode number? 38? 48. 48. 48. Megan, you want to just both win? No. No, no. There yeah. can only be one. All right, cool. So Megan oh. and I both win. <laughs> <laughs> What's the time signature, Rob? 32.03. 32. Oh, three. 32. So Okay, let's see and if you guys can hear this. Up until 27 seconds. Andrew, do you know how to screen share? He's just I can to... try. I can, I can do it right now. Share your screen. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Hi. I okay. do not know how to screen share. All right, I c wasn't sure if that was you or actually Rob. Uh, let me know if you can hear this. It's like you know, they they didn't really limit us to just house cats. I assume that's what they wanted, but no, we're gonna whip out you know our jaguars and our cheetahs and our lions. Lions can screw some people up. I mean, zombies not really. Not lions. Lions are lazy guys. They just like to nap. Male lions, female lions are gonna bring it. Lioness, yeah, but lion. What if lions are lions? What? We're we're talking about we're talking cats. about Voltron. Nope. To who? Is it both of us? Yeah. Yeah. Megan said Voltron. It's not Voltron. I said cats. <laughs> That's half the words you need to get the point. Like the, the Thundercats. Cats. Nope. We're not talking about the movie Cats. Is it Thundercats? It is not Thundercats. Uh... Can you give them a hint? Because we, we need one of them to answer this. Cats versus... <laughs> what can a cat mm. fight? Come on, you two. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Big cats fighting. Uh... Uh... Big, big, I'm not sure. Big, big dogs? We said it Is in the it... clip. <laughs> what? Megan, do you do you have a guess? Chris, play again. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, so what was it at? Thirty-two oh something. Oh three. Zombies. Yes. yes. I'm just gonna like, get a play. horde of cats. It's cats versus zombies. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Wigan. You are the winner of the 300 clip show. There was actually very little doubt in my mind because Megan's got the memory. Beep. Absolutely. Yep. Kyle just has random game luck. <laughs> no, no, not, not luck with randomness in games. Luck with games it's like han solo you're intuitively lucky with new games but you call it skill i am just good with with games yeah i'm the okay, one who so it, the skill it was andrew using an army of cats to like mess up zombies uh no a fan asked us who would win cats or zombies wild huh i, I i'm adamant that cats win everything well we, for, you for found the loophole of Big cats. Yes. Big cats. 
Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us over this past six years and 300 episodes. This has been such a fun thing to do and just getting to meet with every one of you guys every week and get together and just make each other laugh and have a really good time and just spread some joy. And of course, I hope you get to join us for 300 more. So if you do want to continue the conversation online with us, you can do so on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash thundergeekspeak or follow us on our other social media. And uh, Chris and Kyle have, of course, been streaming on their respective Twitch pages on twitch.tv slash frozenfire727 or Chris the Tripod. And for the 300th time, we've been brought to you by 102.7 FM CILQ around the world at luradio.ca. I'm Andrew. I'm Rob. I'm Megan. I'm Kyle. And I'm Chris. And we're your. Th-